Chuan Real Estate. I'm here with Johnson Chang, CEO of Cornerstone Marketing, to talk to us about Adagio in Yorkville. Hi, Johnson. Hi, Jia. Thank you for this opportunity to talk about an incredible project in, in a very iconic location, Yorkville in Toronto. This sitting right on Young Street. It has a Young Street address. It has a Yorkville community. It has the best of the world. What people really yearn for is a great location, accessible by transit. It's also walkability and is built by a very, very reputable builder, Menkes. Fantastic. And why did Menkes choose Yorkville? Well, the relationship, the passion, the love affair, if I may say, of Mancus and Yorkville start with the Four Seasons Hotel. Many years ago, when the Four Seasons wanted to find a brand new location, they realized that of all the locations they've looked at in the entire Toronto, and Four Seasons had the ability to choose any location. In the end, they chose Four Seasons, the current Yorkville location. And they could have chosen any developer, but they wanted a partner that truly understands quality. Because at the end of the day, the very fundamentals, the pillars of Four Seasons, is talking about quality. Quality in the service, quality in the aesthetics, quality in the delivery. And that's what makes the Four Seasons experience different. And that is the very foundation of how and why they really embrace the Yorkville. And it's not just the Four Seasons Hotel and Residence that Mankis fell in love with. They also had another project called Paris on Avenue. So they really understand the buyer profile of who would be attracted to a location like Yorkville. Now, for many of us, we go to Yorkville only on a day trip. We go there for a dinner. We go there for a show. We go there for lunch. We go there for a walk. We go there as a transient to experience Yorkville. But what truly defines Yorkville is its ability of this community that is so tight-knit that it really offers a different experience. And that's what Mankis have discovered with Paris on Avenue. They realized what people really wanted in their condominium. Is it flashy? It needs to have really luxurious finishing. But does it have to be over the top? No. It has to be understated luxury. And that's what Mankis is really good at. It's really delivering quality without screaming, without gaudiness. And that is what Adagio really embodies. Now, when they had the opportunity to buy into this tract of land, it was, it was the perfect match. It is right on Young Street. It is steps to the subway entrance. It is connected. It is part of Yorkville. It has everything. And you're within a stone's throw away from the Four Seasons. And that is their foothold in the entire development of Yorkville. How Yorkville have transitioned into a world-class location, a world-class destination. Absolutely. And as we see condominiums, they're getting taller and taller. What makes Adagio special from the crowd? Adagio Yorkville, it is truly special. Rising to 27 stories, it's not a tall building. It's what we call a very intimate boutique building. It's for that very reason that Menkes fell in love with this opportunity is to create residence, homes, not a rental apartment, but really where people will call home. People will be proud to be there. People want to have the intimacy, be able to be in the vertical community where people actually know the neighbors. Imagine the building that has five, six, seven hundred units. How will you know your neighbors? Who will be your neighbors? No one knows. But what Mankis have embraced is the very fundamentals of what have driven and delivered value for Four Seasons is the ability to really know your clients. 
the ability to know your residents, to really bring a positive value, a positive impact to that vertical community. And that's why many years ago, Mancus have embarked on a very truly unique journey to do their own property management, Menres. They wanted to deliver a higher level of service because they realized that a lot of builders can build buildings. A lot of builders could put in flashy, really nice amenities. But how well can you maintain it? How well can you maintain the service level? It's a service, it's that personal touch, ability to recognize and remember the residents' names as they come in and out of the building. And it's not just another faceless residence, but it's rather, it's their home. It is where they want to be. And that is the essence of what Adagio wants. And that was the mission for Menkes when they embarked on this journey. It's not a big building. It is not overly large in terms of amenities. On our second floor, we have our dedicated workout areas, outdoor and indoor lounges. It has a lot of nice things. Again, understated luxury. But what really defines it is the entire embodiment, entire packaging. We introduce gas cooking for our Prima collection because we realized that for a lot of the foodies, they wanted to really have another experience in the culinary journey. And that's why it is unique that we put in gas cooking for a special collection that we call Prima. And it is Prima, it is exclusive for those who really understand with discerning taste. That's fantastic for those culinary enthusiasts. Gas stoves are amazing. Can you share with us the being located right on Yonge Street, the importance of connectivity? Connectivity is important because for many who lives in Yorkville, they are what we call urban dwellers. They live, work, and play in the heart of Toronto. So what they really want is to have options. And when we are at the crosshair of line one and two in the subway system, we have access to everything. We give our residents options. Imagine you can go to the airport without a car. You can go to universities. You can go to major shopping malls. You can go to notable dineries, eateries, downtown, financial districts, to the waterfront. Everything is within a stone's throw away. That is connectivity. But most importantly, it's the connectivity by foot. People embrace and want to be in Yorkville. It's because you can walk to a lot of international recognized fine dinings. You can go to a lot of shops. Of course, you're not going to be shopping and buying things every day but it is the experience of window shopping. It's the experience of people watching. That is the lifestyle of the Yorkville people. Johnson, where do you see real estate prices going? And where do you see Yorkville in the future? Well, we all know through history that real estate prices in the long term have nowhere to go but to go up. Now. In the long term, it's because real estate, let's not forget, is a long-term investment. It's not stocks. It's not day trading. And investors should have the patience and the viewpoint of a medium to long-term investment horizon. Meaning, I'm not here for a day or for a week or for a month, but rather, I'm looking for a couple of years for the entire community, for the entire city to really grow and really get to the next level. That will lead to the next point of where is the property prices for Yorkville going. Right now, Toronto pricing are cheap relative on a global basis compared to Hong Kong, Tokyo, New York, San Francisco, Boston, a lot of notable North American and global cities. We are cheap, but we are very high in our productivity. So we still have a lot of room to grow. But more importantly, is that all those cities that I talk about are what we call global cities.
global citizens have a different mindset. Global citizens have a different perspective. And that's where Yorkville really shines. Yorkville is iconic of Toronto. The TIFF is held in Yorkville. A lot of the functions, red carpets, are in Yorkville. So Yorkville has this ability and opportunity to be shown on this global stage in front of everybody on a global basis for them to see, for them to understand, for them to really look from afar. So therefore, Yorkville has this reach, have this stature, or what I call a global uh, stage. This ability to be on this global pedestal, as a result, it will attract to not just local investors, not just local buyers, but on a global basis. So therefore, in this global scheme, in this global stage, we have a lot more room to grow. Now, will this type of global perspective be applicable for every project in Toronto? No. Let's not fool ourselves. Not everybody from New York will understand all these other locations in the GTA. But for sure, Yorkville is something that they could resonate. Yorkville is something that many people from across the globe will say, I've heard of it, I've seen it. That's where you are. That's where you have investment. That's why I still think that Yorkville is one of those iconic locations that really represents GTA, that really represents the vibrancy of Toronto and all the best that it has to offer. Amazing. What's the meaning behind Adagio? That's a great question, Gia. Adagio, in Italian, is a slow movement in dance because we have a heritage component, right at the corner of where Adagio sits. It was the former home for the Canadian Ballet School. Now, what we want to understand and really bring to mind to all the residents is that while we're moving forward in progress, in development, we have not forgotten our roots. We have not forgotten the things, the cultural meaning of what really defines us. Ballet is something that people sort of don't understand, but they sort of understand. Ballet, it is a love story. Every ballet is talking about a relationship. It's talking about a struggle. It's talking about triumph. It's talking about victory. That is what life is all about. When we embrace all these elements, that is the meaning of life. So when we looked at Adagio, when we looked at this project, there's no better name for a slow movement to really sink in, to really relish, to really enjoy the moment of what life has to offer. It's not a fast-paced life, it is a slow movement. A slow movement where you really enjoy the niceties. A sip of a cafe is the stroll on the side streets of Yorkville. The exploration of all the various crooks and crannies of what really defines the intricate Yorkville lifestyle. It is that revelation of live, work, and play in a much higher level. And that is Adagio. For those who are seeking real estate as a vehicle for investing, what can you share about investment value? That's a great question. Investments 101, buy low, sell high. We have all heard it. But what does that really mean? Is that buying low, you don't know where low really is. But let's talk about buying, selling high. What makes a location desirable? Well, it has to be rare. It cannot be main mass market because that would drive down pricing. You want to be in a location that is really unique in its own so that there's no other competitors. It really has its own captivated market. That's what Yorkville is. Within this really small geographic region, we have culture, we have commerce, we have intersection of transportation of line one and two. We have well-known international brands 
And why have those brands situated and called Yorkville home? Is that they realize that in the entire GTA, there are many shopping malls, but there's only one Yorkville. There's only one location that comes to mind when people say, I want the best of the best. And that is Yorkville. And that is why investment in a, a location such as a dash yard is so incredible powerful. It's because now you have a location, a residence that takes a Young Street address at 771 Young Street that has the community of Yorkville, the international stature, the draw power of superstars, all the elites coming to Yorkville on a global basis, that is why the demand will be high. Because it is not a very, very vast space of condos. It is rather a very small, unique, small tract of land that defines Yorkville. And it is this exclusivity, this rarity, this jewel that people have stumbled across. And when we looked at the pricing, there is so much more room to grow. We looked at there are other comparables that are five, six, seven hundred dollars a square foot above where we currently are right now. And Menkis is definitely going to be increasing pricing real soon. So act now. Fantastic, Johnson. I do want to touch upon about price increases. What are driving these price increases? That is a great question. Price is actually, it's not cheap anymore. Pricing, we have all heard, is going through the roof. And where's it going? And more importantly, will pricing drop? Will pre-construction drop? The answer is no. The answer is that with all the various things that's happening in our GTA, with inclusionary zoning, with the rising cost of construction, with the rising cost of development charges and all the various levies that the builder have to pay, all these are driving up the cost of a condo. What we're facing is that we are facing a crisis never been seen before. But remember, when we look back in history, in the years to come, this will be a defining moment. 2022 will be a mark where we see that the market have taken a pause and those who capture and really capitalize on this opportunity will find a really good investment opportunity. Because in the future, as costs keep increasing, Builders have no other options but to increase price. Or they just don't build. What happens to the over 100,000 people that immigrate to GTA in hopes of a better future, looking for those job opportunities? They will need a place to stay. So as a result, the demand for housing will keep on increasing. And a lot of people will find Toronto a land of opportunities for those skilled, for those who are hungry for opportunities, for those who dare to work, dare to think outside the box and create solutions where people have said, no, it can't be done. For the can-doers, those are the people that will yield and respond to new marching order that will bring GTA to the next level. And we will see it, we will be there. Absolutely, and as you said, immigration, this is a driving force of our city, and Yorkville being a major destination, would you say? Absolutely. Actually, Yorkville is the destination for a lot of what we call the higher echelon of the white collar executives. These are the demographic profile, the average income of a family in Yorkville is 375,000 household income. That far, far outpaced the average household income in the entire GTA. It really speaks to the elite. It really speaks to the ability of Yorkville 
to really captivate the imagination of those who have, those who have earned their stripes, those who really have put in the hours to make it, to be there, and being a part of Yorkville is their testament, their benchmark of saying, I'm there, I got it, I have arrived. Mm -hmm. That is very true. This has been fantastic, Johnson. Thank you very much. And I want to say, to learn more about Adagio by Menkes, located in Yorkville, contact me and I'm happy to share more information with you.